Every now a dumpster die to stay alive. I compost every crumb. I save my seeds and eat my weeds and feed the leftovers to your mum. All right, how you going? Today we're making kimchi, which is Korean for funky, salty cabbage. Now, if you know the secret of kimchi and any kind of fermented cabbagey sort of food, you will know that this is the most essential ingredient because it activates the lactobacillus bacteria which preserve the cabbage in its own funky juices and gives it a nice flavour. I uh, also thought we'd chuck in a bit of leek for the fun of it. Why not? A bit of cauliflower is always good. Uh, the uh, old daikon radish. A couple of carrots. Some shallots. Garlic. Essential ingredient. Ginger, even more essential ingredient. A bit of lemon juice for the tang. Coriander seed. A bit of renegade mustard that came up in the lawn last season. Uh, cumin. Cumin. Chili sauce and soy sauce. And of course, salt. Alright, so because we've got so much stuff, we're going to need a massive bowl. And actually, because we've got even more than usual, I'm going to use two massive bowls. So, you want to basically cut it into bite-sized bits. Anything that you want to, that you feel comfortable shoving in your mouth. Alrighty. Red cabbage. Daikon. This stuff makes it smell pretty funky, but it's awesome. Hey, check it out. Transfer half of this because it's getting a bit full. Seems to work. Chucking out collies. I like leek. Mm, I reckon a good hunk of ginger. Good for you. That's it. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Garlic. Big mobs of garlic. Always good. Nice and fine. That's a lot. Give our spices a bit of a grind. No specific amount, just, just go with the vibe, man. <laughs> Lemon. And now, finally, the sauce. Oh, actually, one ingredient that I forgot. Where is it? Fish sauce. It's optional, of course, if you're vegan or vegan. A bit of soy sauce. Yeah, although, not too much because you're going to be adding the salt. And that's going to make it quite salty. So, just a little bit for flavour. A little bit of chilli sauce. So, ugh, I think that's probably a bit too much. It's pretty much like making a raw stir fry and then instead of cooking it, just letting it ferment. The final ingredient salt. So, this is kind of just a vibey sort of ingredient, and you want it to be pretty salty to taste, but not too salty, because um, it is a condiment, so it's going to be slightly more salty than your average meal, but you just kind of taste it as you go, and if it needs a bit more salt, then you add it. So, now we've got all of our ingredients finely crafted into the bowl. Get in there with our hands and give it a nice... Massage, that's right. Yeah, feel the love. Please, get into it. Inject your chi into the kimchi. So you want to mix all of that juice through. Give a little bit of cabbage a taste. See how salty it is? Well, it's pretty salty. So I'm not going to add any more salt. I know I said I was going to put carrots in it, but I'm not going to bother because there's no room, so, you know, they're optional. There's two buckets. 
chockers though, so. So now all you have to do is grab a clean jar and a bashing stick and then just grab some of that, bung it in there, and every few layers just bash it down. Give it a good bash. You can't really smash kimchi too much. It's called tough love. Last bit of the juice in there. Pop the lid on him and there you go. Kimchi. Just leave it for about three to seven days, just on your kitchen bench. And uh, depending on how strong you like it, you um, might want to put it in the fridge after about a week because it starts getting really funky and you'll smell when it's ready. So here's one we prepared earlier. It's starting to look at a bit like that. Although this hasn't got any uh, red cabbage in it. But um, should be slightly crunchy, nice and tangy. And just all round hat. The end.